Ray LaHood was an unlikely sight on the European rails this month. An American politician, a Midwestern Republican from a largely rural patch of Illinois, looking abroad for inspiration. As Barack Obama's transportation secretary, LaHood is primed to become the world's most important patron of high-speed rail. He hopes new investment will bolster a meager U.S. system so that it one day rivals those in Germany, France, Japan, Spain, and China, all of which have their own expansions underway. A six-day European tour, his first overseas trip as secretary, was designed to give him an up-close look at the newest lines on two of the continent's most extensive high-speed networks. He zipped past the farmland of Champagne and the scruffy Iberian frontier on Spain's Ave. In each case, La Hood reached speeds over 300 kilometers per hour, over twice what he had ever experienced while traveling Amtrak out of Washington. La Hood's tour took him also to places where ordinary passengers rarely go, into the cockpits of trains, behind security lines at stations in Paris and Madrid, and into a state-of-the-art control center in Zaragoza. Along the way, transport ministers from France, Spain, and Germany appealed to La Hood to see their country's system as a model, and angled diplomatically to play a role in changing U.S. policy. The French boasted of having added high-speed service onto existing routes, like the one La Hood rode from Paris to Strasbourg. The Spanish described how they'd started from scratch, laying new, dedicated high-speed tracks from Madrid to Barcelona and Seville. Along La Hood's journey, representatives of the country's public and private sector rail companies, including locomotive makers, signal operators, and station architects, made their own blunter pitches in the hopes of winning U.S. contracts. The stakes are high for European business, but more so for American cities. La Hood hopes to fit the spending into a broader strategy in favor of what he calls livable communities. He hopes the new model for the American city planner will be Strasbourg, France. There, high-speed train service connects to an urban tram system and lots of parking for bikes to create a pedestrian-dominated downtown. It is odd to hear a U.S. politician praising another country's domestic policy, and stranger still for the subject to be the social and environmental virtues of luring Americans from their cars. LaHood says Americans are ready for their cities to look more like Europe's, but he returned to Washington with tough decisions yet to make, where to start and how to spend the money. In Washington, for Monocle, I'm Sasha Eisenberg.